Cambridge International Examinations provides an international education for 5 to 19 year olds. Cambridge Secondary 1 is an international education program for learners aged 11 to 14 years. It is excellent preparation for Cambridge IGCSE, the world's most popular international qualification for 14 to 16 year olds. Many schools in the Netherlands also offer Cambridge IGCSE. Schools from around the world are now providing a bilingual education using Cambridge qualifications alongside their own national curriculum. Learners study some subjects through their first language and some subjects through English as an additional language. In this way, learners are supported in becoming and remaining bilingual. 20 years ago, there was a new development in education in, in the Netherlands, and that was the bilingual education. And our school was very interested in that. There are many different approaches to bilingual education and to teaching and learning subjects such as maths and science through an additional language. Bilingual education is much more. And that is also, if you go and look, uh, when they have to use the language, they use language which is far outside the normal scope that we would teach in a Dutch program. Stedelijk College in Eindhoven in the Netherlands uses the content and language integrated learning approach, known as CLIL. At schools using the CLIL approach, maths and science teachers help learners to master the content of the subject and to acquire the necessary language to do this. This approach also encourages language learning skills such as summarizing, asking for clarification and dictionary skills. When they enter the classroom, they do speak English. That is the rule. In the beginning, of course, it's very difficult for them because their first language is Dutch. At the end of the first year, they are quite fluent and in the second year that develops and in the third year when we do the checkpoints that should be a very good level of English. Cambridge checkpoint tests are built into Cambridge Secondary 1 and they are taken at the end of the programme. They enable teachers to assess learners' progress and feed back on their strengths and weaknesses in the core subjects of English, Maths and Science. The tests are marked by Cambridge and provide an international benchmark for student performance. Cambridge checkpoint tests prepare bilingual learners really well for the next stage of learning. Who can answer that question for me? Jenny? Um, the pollen nucleus has to uh, be transported through the pollen tube. My twin sister doesn't do bilingual education, for example. Uh, she um, is just on the, uh, the Dutch department. And um, we can notice that, that when she does her normal uh, lessons, normal Dutch lessons, that, that yeah, they can speak as good as English as we do. Yeah, we are going to be using this coin. A coin has got two sides. What do we call that in Dutch? If you go and look at uh, bilingual uh, programs, uh, students don't only learn the terms that they learn in a subject like biology or history, but there's also day-to-day -day terms. So for example, when you toss a coin, you get heads or tails. Now, in a normal grammar book, you won't find heads or tails, so uh, people think that heads is like of a body and a tail maybe of an animal, but here they learn that that's what you call uh, when you toss a coin. Okay. What do you think if we talk about alleles, which we've just discussed, are variations of a gene, of which we have two, when we're going to be doing that activity, what do you think the head and tail represent, are going to represent in that activity? Anna. A dominant allele and a recessive allele. Excellent. A dominant and a recessive allele. The wealth of what they get from a bilingual program is much more than a mark. It's also the culture aspect because people often forget that when you learn another language, you also actually come into contact with another culture. You are not going to redraw the 3D diagram. You are going to My advice for maths teachers embarking on CLIL program is to go through all the various mathematical topics and figure out what are the key language patterns that you need to convey to the students for that topic in, in upfront and be very consistent in the phrases and the words you use within the lesson. Create once again a right angle triangle. 
to help teachers gain the confidence, knowledge and skills to teach through an additional language, Cambridge has designed a certificate for teachers in bilingual education. The certificate is a practice-based qualification for the continuing professional development of teachers working or preparing to work in a bilingual education program. To find out more about bilingual education and Cambridge, contact us.